Oh, what an exciting few days it has been. On one hand, we had nerds arguing over which is the best esports team at the 6th Invitational, and on the other hand, we had European nerds arguing over which is the best country at the Eurovision Song Contest and then Flo Rida showed up for some reason. And what also made it exciting is that we had our very first set of leaks regarding the brand new Ryzen 6000 CPUs from AMD and they are looking pretty insane so far. And these brand new leaks include some rough interesting information including the fact that AMD are allegedly moving away from PGA in favor of LGA for these brand new CPUs, meaning that the pins will be featured on the motherboard rather than on the actual CPU like with current gen Ryzen CPUs. Now that is nothing new for AMD and already their Threadripper CPUs, even current gen ones, do use LGA. So it looks like they're simply just applying LGA across the entire stack of products now. That means that the CPUs are less fragile, so instead the mobile manufacturers have the displeasure of ensuring that you don't get a product with bent pins, but also LG typically requires a much larger pin density, which is one of the main reasons why Intel has been using it for what feels like ages now. And it looks like AMD will be capitalizing on that because we're going to be getting over 1,700 pins on these brand new CPUs. And of course, DDR5 is on the horizon. It has been on the horizon like a sinister cloud for a while, but it's finally time to embrace it and also spend extra money on DDR5 memory if you want to upgrade these brand new CPUs. One interesting omission is PCIe Gen 5 though, because these brand new CPUs are reportedly not gonna have it, even though Intel's next gen offerings, older lake, will have Gen 5 support. So is AMD now falling behind Intel of all people? Well, maybe they're just playing a long game. In honesty, I don't think anyone will care that Alder Lake will have PCIe Gen 5. It will just be a nice little engineering milestone for Intel to brag about. And it is pretty impressive, but let's be honest, not many end users will be using PCIe Gen 5. PCIe Gen 4 is already having troubles keeping up because it's just so expensive still to get PCIe Gen 4 SSDs while graphics cards don't really even fully utilize a Gen 4 link. And just because the first batch of CPUs on this brand new AM5 socket doesn't support PCIe Gen 5, well that doesn't mean that they won't in the future. After all, PCIe Gen 4 was added to AM4 only with 3rd Gen Ryzen, so it'll probably do the same here. Wait a bit for PCIe Gen 5 to become at least a tad more viable and less expensive to produce, and then finally add it to its CPUs. So all in all, it's going to be an intense battle between Zen 4 and Old Lake. Who will come out victorious? I don't know, you don't know, no one knows, but leave your best educated or non-educated guesses if you like in the comments down below. So let me know what you think, I'm really curious to see what do you guys think of these upcoming CPUs because they're gonna be awesome. And while you're still here and you maybe want to see more awesome videos from this channel then hey maybe check out my Patreon down in the video description below because even one dollar a month goes a long way in helping on my channel and it allows us to make way better videos along with videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love, love to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Orion, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Meg Sumner and Blake the Rake. Thank you guys so so much and I'm hoping to see more of you fantastic people on that list in the future. Alternatively, if you want to support the channel in other ways, we also have Amazon socials links down there, so if you use those to buy anything for Amazon, then we get some money and you need to pay anything extra, so it's a win-win. It can be anything. My channel literally made money from these links from someone buying rat poison on Amazon. Yes, it literally can be anything. Also down there is our old customs links, which will give you 5% off on the awesome keyboards. And down there as well is our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else really. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.